All right, so we're gonna do some measurements. Let's turn on the caliper, set it to zero, it's on millimeters. All right, so here are it's the same casing for most of the switches that I sell. Uh, let's just do the overall length. Is about 32 and a half millimeters. Um, see the spacing of, let's start with the lugs. Um, from outside to outside, it's about 5.5. And then, let's see if we can do, let's do this way. This is harder than I thought. That would be easier. Okay, so that's four uh, millimeters on the inside, and then it was what, five and a half on the outside. And then each lug is 0.75 millimeter. Um, let's see, the measurement from the mounting nut to the bottom of the body. Let's just take all these nuts off. So this depth is just eyeballing it, it's about about 10 millimeters. If we were to do it at this angle, I'm getting about 9.8. So actually it probably would be less then. Let's see if we do it this way. Just eye this. Yeah, okay, so 8.82, eyeing it roughly to the top. Uh, let's see, the plunger is about, I know it's 9.3. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh, I guess one would want to see what this is. So that's the body to the end of the lugs, and that's 13.75. Um, the body itself is... 12.9 and then this way 11.58 any other measurements? Oh, I guess the mounting hole would be 5.73 and let's see the nuts 1.45 uh, anything else that would be important let's just do the total outside of the lugs 10.14 Three, and then these were what? These were 0.7, right? 0 0.70. Okay, and there you go. I think that's all the measurements here. Is there anything that I missed? I think not. All right.